Yeah, so this is the PC that we built for you, Ryan. So, uh, what, what do you think? It's insane. Uh. <laughs> Basically, I passed them mm. uh, some of my older tour passes. So, I think you recognize some of them. Yeah, this is Metallica. Yeah. Some of my bullet stuff from here. Oh, you did a good job, man. We we found a we found a guy actually in Singapore. He yeah. he owns this company called uh, uh Flight Case Innovation uh, Limited. And then what he does, he actually, he actually built uh flight cases uh, mm. for people like Phil Collins and Kitaro. Right. You know, yeah. And then he, Singapore. Yeah, yeah. Singapore. <laughs> And and he was telling us about stories about how he was having like breakfast with Phil Collins in Indonesia while building a flight case for his drum set that he bought over there or something like that. So we, we we brought your PC down to this guy and then he actually managed to customize the flight case for you, uh, based on based on the the, the specs of the, the specs computer, of the PC. So. Yeah, yeah. Basically, we wanted to to make something that you can actually just bring it everywhere you go so i mean it seems fairly secure yeah everything everything is protected the the foam inside is custom cut so the pc is actually very snug okay. inside the case yeah wow. so <laughs> i mean uh let me just show you some of the, the okay. features yeah yeah so as you can see it comes with uh lockable latches so this one is the it's just like a real phone yeah. Yeah. yeah put your front of house really. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the, the front side. Uh, you can see that now there's a custom cutout here for the I/O ports, right. so that you have all the USBs mm -hmm. and your power, your power over here. And then uh, same for the rear. You can just open it up. I just love the sound of a flight case. Of a flight case, right? Yeah. So then the rear here, you can see there are all the ports as well. Yeah. Snap. Wow. Yep. Very snug. So basically, you can just run your whole PC without even taking it out. Without of the taking box. it out, yeah. yeah. And as you can see, right, um, at the side here, there are actually channels that is being cut in the foam mm -hmm. that uh, it allows the air to flow right, yeah, in. Yeah. yeah. And then right up here, right, there's an exhaust for the hot air to come out. Mm. It's got a fairly powerful graphics card, so it's yeah. going to heat up. It's going to heat up, yeah. but then. Uh, well, with the Cooler Master, the NR200 case, right, mm -hmm. the, the airflow is excellent. Uh, so, yeah. we don't have to worry about heat issues. Mm. And, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure this can withstand the kind of uh, touring that we do. Definitely. Uh, this <laughs> is... I mean, you can check out the, 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 the thickness of the foam yeah. that is. is yeah. Yeah. That's, insane. That's insane. Yeah. Good for all weather. <laughs> <laughs> but this is this is the same foam, right? That they pack the lighting desk and all the yeah. the, the front of house desk. So you can be part but of even, the even this, this ball corner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What so do you call this? The I think uh, angle breeze. Yeah. 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 But you basically you can just chuck it wherever and it's okay. Right? Yeah. So actually like I mean we, we wanted to do this uh for you as a touring photographer, right? Mm -hmm. What's it like, you know, that you know, we imagine that for you uh, on the road, it's going to be very hectic, you know, to have your PC there. You need to, you need your PC to work basically, because yeah. if not, then all your day's work is, is wasted. Uh, right? well, basically, it's, the, the more of, it's more of the first step that I'm worried about, like actually checking it in and putting it on a plane, going to wherever I go, you know. Uh -huh. So, I mean, normally when I used to have my laptop, I, I chuck it in my backpack and then I just get on the plane. I, it never leaves my sight, but obviously, we can't bring this on a carry on because I like to travel freely, you know. So yeah. if I check it in, this looks pretty much indestructible, really. I mean, yeah. seriously, like it's it's almost like the same kind of protection as what touring bands would bring along, you know, with their yeah. guitar cases and For sure. and all the hard cases. And then once you know, once you actually get get off the ground, and then you start. I guess when I start touring with it, it would not really look out of place with all the other flight cases that you know my colleagues would be putting like all oh, their, their sound desk and all their their lighting desk and all that it, and at least you wouldn't get lost because it's my, uh, my oh, name you, yeah you put your my name, name and identification yeah <laughs> so actually for for this stencil uh, uh we actually did the number 65 here yeah. it's because it's our country code yeah it's, it's the country code for singapore and then you know we know that for you being overseas all the time right yeah. you must have 
mist home yeah. <laughs> most of the time. So this is actually just a little touch for you to kind of remember yeah. uh, home being there with you, you know. My, uh, my friends used to buy me a I love SG t-shirt to wear on tour <laughs> just, just so I can remind myself but I guess this, this will do the job now <laughs> Yeah, so actually I mean you guys uh, I think both of you have toured around quite extensively right and actually you guys both have toured together right like how many times is it how many times twice two, two the big ones twice two extensive yeah. tours yeah so I think we Nick asked me out um, Nick when Nick was playing with the Caulfield car I, I think yeah. right now you, you guys are still around but it was uh, four years ago. Six years ago, twenty fifteen. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I think yeah, I think I, I started I started touring not long before that. I started touring in two thousand fourteen or something with uh, with while she sleeps actually, which is yeah while she <laughs> sleeps right yeah right here. But then Nick <clears throat> Nick told me he was touring uh, around Europe with his band in a small van, self drive. In the heat of summer, really hot. So I was like, okay, I've never, I've never toured in a band before, and you know, let alone I would love to do it with an old friend like him. So we did it. Um, I think we actually documented it. It was called the. Um, I joined the cult. I joined the cult. Yes. Oh. Okay. It's like a name play on the coffee cult, and I mean, I remember just. I mean, I, I went there as a photographer, as as you know, I, I did a lot of video content for them, but. I was remember I remember carrying a lot of cases like these, and you know it's just a lot of like punishment that goes along with the, all the equipment and all that. You you know the the plus for this, you can it's a stool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could probably because we end up we we wait. There's a lot of waiting. You know, it's all like what they say in the army is like you rush to wait and you wait to rush, and yeah. and we always end up sitting on drums on guitars. Yeah. And out, like, out the van just like sitting do especially when you're doing like a tour documentary or content that you need to like edit quickly and yeah, pass yeah. out everything I remember like Ryan is like the hardest working person on the tour <laughs> it's like there are many nights like all of us woke up like late and like a little bit too much to drink I wake up and I'll see like Ryan sitting on like uh, one of the flight cases and like editing the videos <laughs> so there you go I well, mean that's social media nowadays like you need to get <laughs> things out quickly you know but I had a lot of fun on, on, on those two tours. I mean, both tours were fairly similar. It was like summer, Europe, super hot, I think 35, 31 degrees. Something 35. like that. Uh, we all got sunburned, despite <laughs> being in the van. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, most days we slept in the van. Some days, if you're lucky, Nick will get on the mic and ask anyone <laughs> if they have a spare room. And we uh, have slept in some questionable <laughs> places. <laughs> Some nice places, yeah. some questionable yeah. places. Some, some really generous people. Yeah. But um, You can see it all in the video. Yeah. 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 Watching I'll back show also. It to you. Yeah. I'll show it to you. Yeah. Oh. Okay, now I'm really interested in what's in my computer. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah. so this one, um, inside, you, you know, you have a, a very good graphics card. There's a 2070 Super inside. Okay. Yeah, so don't, don't have to worry about, you know. Well, I can see the vents here, all the airflow and all that. Yeah, so, so as you know, the NR two hundred case, right? Uh, airflow is very important because it's this simple. is yeah, yeah. So this is pretty much a, a airflow kind mm -hmm. of case. And the bottom as well. Yeah. Correct. So at the bottom, there are custom cutouts yeah. for the air to flow in mm -hmm. together with the side. And then, like I said, there's an exhaust here mm -hmm. for the hot air to come out. And the hot air can even exit through the back as well. Mm. So it still kind of functions exactly like how it's supposed to function, except that now it has got this like super secure enclosure around it yeah have you seen anything like that no, uh, <laughs> not not for a computer if you if you didn't open this we're, we're very think... familiar with this but not yeah. as a computer you know like if you open it if i see a, like a lighting desk or sound desk yeah, yeah. see every day like, mm. if you didn't open this up i'll think this is like yeah a bunch of lights or Smoke panels machine. yeah something like that right Smoke machine. i think the good part about this is that when you kind of pack it up right it doesn't look like a computer mm. so mm. you know you don't become a target for people who yeah, yeah. are looking out for computers to, you know, maybe. Yeah. Well, I see that that's, that's opportunities for me to lock. Yeah, well. so there are actually uh, some parts here that you can actually just lock it up. padlock. Yeah. yeah, just lock it up, and then it's. I mean, unless the whole thing gets lost, so. Um, but how often does that happen, right? <laughs> yeah. Maybe I think you got the font right as well. 
you know, oh the font yeah. yeah so so actually <laughs> for yeah, yeah. so the stencil we actually did all of the stenciling for for this case and uh i actually did quite a bit of research into the kind of font that uh, a lot of the flat cases are using mm -hmm. uh and so that's why you know what's the what's the name of the font uh i think it's called like marsh stencil or something oh, okay something. yeah but then you know the, the little details like i realized oh the number the font that they use for the number is actually different from the font that they use okay uh, for so you did your research right? i did yeah so i did my research what, what band what band was it um actually my idea for putting your name here is that it came from a flight case that i saw uh from led zeppelin one of their very early flight cases oh. they had their you know i mean nowadays what what bands have is that they have their whole logo right here but I saw this flight case from Led Zeppelin back in the day. It just had their name and address. Mm. Mm. Just but that. I wouldn't put my address. Now, yeah, you probably <laughs> yeah you probably shouldn't put your address. But you know they just had their name and address and no fancy nothing. So so I I thought okay that that should be a, a quite a classy thing to do. You know you have your name there. I I realized as well. So I I, I passed Dixon a bunch of my uh, tour passes and he picked fairly significant ones that that. You know, I remember from the that. Are this the actual tour passes? That was my. This first is ever. the actual tour. These passes. are all actual tour Damn. passes. That was my first ever ghost show. First ever ghost show. Where was that? The Royal Albert Hall. R. Oh, H. that was your first ghost show. Royal Nine, Albert 9th Hall. Ninth of September. First ever Damn. ghost show. Um, that was. I spent the summer that year uh, touring with Ghost while they were supporting Metallica. Mm. I don't. I don't remember why I had this sticker because normally we get the you know the heart. Yeah, passes, right? correct, Chipotle, but yeah. and when you see someone with this, it, it means that they're not really working, working with the band. Right? Is, like is this a, not just to put on your gear? No. No, I think this was because security was so tight that they wanted a sticker for that particular venue besides the hard AAA laminate as well. So uh, I remember that. But I'm glad I got this sticker because yeah. you, you don't get a Metallica sticker a lot nowadays. <laughs> Can't put a AAA <laughs> yeah, pass yeah. on the flight case. <laughs> then of, of course we have bullet over here yeah yeah that's yeah yeah but this was one of the bigger bullet tours that i did they they sold out almost every venue on that tour 2016. okay so this is while she sleeps at reading festival um i think it's one of the first the one of the few passes with my name right that's why it's put yeah there. and i <laughs> and, and i front. like and i like how it's like a fluorescent color yeah, it's a so very touring. it really kind of stands out against the super touring color yeah yeah wow yeah this dude this looks amazing yeah you know, honestly <laughs> so any other plans like i, I guess you want to make more of these kind of special projects for other people and yeah, I mean, we plan to to collaborate with more people like you, uh, who are you know basically creatives or people who are just at the top of their field, right. uh, and really build uh, specialized computers that you know either represent them or really suited for their needs. Mm -hmm. So that's that's something that we really like to do, uh, and that's what build is about. You know, we we try to do things very differently from others and. Uh, we wanted to to make something special for mm -hmm. for our customers, uh, yeah. So, so hopefully we we will be able to to do more of such things. Uh, and maybe I don't know if we can. We might see you somewhere down the road with this. Uh, or maybe we might do one for Nick. Who <laughs> <laughs> play your football manager? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now I just wanna sign this off by a. Powering oh, yeah. it up, see Power how it, I assume this is for the, yeah. the case. So you just plug it in. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. I can hear there the fans moving. Yeah. That's it. Wow. Yeah. On the go you can just edit your photos and videos and do everything that you do without oh. having to worry about anything. Yeah. I'm jealous, man. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is insane. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah, Thank no you so much. Thank yeah. you so much.